journey in, in high school, you need to find the systems that work for you and your group members. Not every organizational tool or app will work for everyone. Some people might prefer to take notes by hand. Some would like to take notes on their laptop. Uh, some people want to write all the details down, a few, just the keywords. Uh, some people put a lot of tasks in their calendar. Others keep it in their head. So when you're in high school, figure out what works for you. And then once you get to know yourself, start using those tips to help you. Something that can help um, your group work is Jamboard by Google. J-A-M-B-O-A-R-D dot Google dot com. And you enter that and you can uh, click on the plus button to launch a, a new Jamboard. Here's one that I was making earlier. So I've given it a clear title and uh, I decided to pick three coaches that had uh, a great career who had passed away in 2022 and, and identify some tips about um, them and their leadership style that uh, and put it kind of show you the different features. So John Thompson, Lou Olson and Jerry Sloan were basketball coaches. So here's sort of the first page. So if you're with a group, click on the share button in the top right, and then you can change the link so that anyone can view it. So I'd like anyone in the logged in there to the TDSB account to be able to view it. Now, if you're with a group, you might want to list specific people and make them editors so that everyone can contribute. Sometimes you're in a meeting and uh, like, uh, people forget to write down pieces of information or nobody takes notes or they don't, the file isn't saved correctly. This will auto-save, so if you're in a project where rough work is required, you may choose this option. So. Uh, you can give the page a different background. You can draw free-handed. You can erase what you drew. You can add sticky notes. You can add images. You can add shapes. You can add text boxes. It can work as a blackboard during meeting, and you can you know, circle something that you want people to uh, see. And you can add more than one uh, page. So I'm going to add a third page to show you. I'm going to change the background to lined. I'm going to add a text box. And uh, put it in here. The formatting is limited. It's not about making it as nice as possible, but you do have a few options. And resizes the way things normally work. So you can copy and paste images directly in here. I'm going to add an image that I picked earlier. There is a picture of the coach that I'm talking about. So I'd, uh, I can, I'm going to add a couple of post-it notes about what I think is good. And again, don't, don't write a lot of information. Just jot down in some key steps. And if you keep just gonna ask for a few more.
And then when I'm done with my notes, I'll hit cancel. And I'll, uh, you know, you can rotate them a little. I'm going to add a couple more files. Just as it is, you know, something like this, I, I would want to use the visual format and you can, uh, you know, click on the corners to, uh, you know, rotate it a little bit to drag and drop it. If you if something's behind but you want it to be on top, change the order by clicking on the on the dots in the corner. I'm gonna add one more image just to finish it off, and there'll be three images and three ch uh, tips on each slide, following the rules of uh, rules of three. And here he is with some of his better players. Carl Malone and John Stockton. So from a visual point of view, it's, it's sort of the, the photos match the uh, match what we're talking about. And uh, so then when I'm done, I can download it as a uh, PDF. It'll also be in my um, Google Drive so I can send it in if, if a teacher asks you for your rough work you can search for this file name and attach it so it's a uh, it auto, auto saves and so that's a good thing to have as well